The insect we study is a species of Drosophila, which is related to the ones that we study in genetics labs. These Drosophila feed on mushrooms. When they're in the mushrooms, they get infected with roundworm parasites. The roundworms grow inside the flies, sterilize them, unless the flies carry the bacteria, which are called spiroplasma. And the spiroplasma have a big negative impact on these nematode parasites. What I found in the 1980s when I was studying these Drosophila, these insects um, in the field, was that virtually all parasitized flies were completely sterile. The nematodes just grow like mad. Um, the flies are bursting with nematode offspring, hundreds to thousands of them. But what I found recently is that a large fraction of the flies that are parasitized by nematodes are, are fertile. The nematodes are much smaller, very few nematode offspring inside the flies, and the nematodes really look sick. So if the flies carry the spiroplasma, for, by some mechanism, we don't know yet, by some mechanism, the spiroplasma are having a big negative impact on the nematodes, which means the nematodes then cannot sterilize the flies. The difference between the fertility of Drosophila that we collected in the 1980s, where parasitized flies were almost always completely sterile, and the situation today, where a lot of the parasitized flies are fertile, indicates that the spiroplasma has increased rapidly in frequency in, in our local population in the last 20 years. Um, so we have a couple of lines of evidence that it's spread rapidly. We also see that it seems to be spreading from east to west across North America. So this is a very rapid change that's occurring in the Drosophila population. It's allowing them to be, become more resistant to these nematode parasites. Um, but it, as I said before, it does not involve um, spread of a beneficial mutation in one of the genes of the fly. It's an increase in the frequency of infection by the spiroplasma symbionts. Okay, so how, how likely is it that, that these bacteria could have spread so rapidly? We actually calculated how fast the bacteria could spread through a population based on the benefit that they confer to the, to the insects. And what we've seen in the wild is, is completely in accordance with this very rapid change um, in the frequency of infection by spiroplasma. So, so the, the rate at which this change occurred is consistent with, with all our field data. What's remarkable, I think, is that we were actually able to see this, um, that it actually occurred while we were out there looking at things. So um, it could well be that these sorts of changes are going on beneath the surface all the time. And with the modern techniques of using molecular PCR detection of bacteria, it could be that um, we'll see a lot more examples of, of, uh, of rapid change like this. Adaptation by natural selection, um, as Darwin formulated this, requires uh, three conditions. First of all, there has to be variation in some trait within a species. And in the case that we're studying, the variation is whether or not the insects, the flies, are infected with spiroplasma. Secondly, there has to be some sort of a fitness consequence of this variation, which means that individuals differ either in their chance of survival or reproduction. In our case, um, flies that carry spiroplasma, the bacterium, um, have greater fertility. They leave more offspring than the flies that don't carry spiroplasma. Uh, finally, the third criterion for adaptation by natural selection is that the trait has to be heritable, which means there's a tendency for the trait to be passed on from parents to offspring. In our case, the spiroplasma are transmitted from infected female flies um, through the egg to their offspring. So even though there's no beneficial mutation involved in this, what there is, there's variation in spiroplasma infection. And as a result of it meeting these conditions for adaptation by natural selection, the frequency of spiroplasma infection actually increases in the population and makes the population more fit uh, to its environment.